so in this video we'll see that how you can update this via automation because uh, usually you can do it uh, from here itself right so you can you can ask me that okay i can click here and mark this test case as pass so but how you can do via automation because automation you will not have this facility right so we'll have to call some apis by which we can do this right once your test case is run in your script you want to update these test plans because they generally appear on a on your dashboards right so we want to make a connection between automation and azure devops right because generally it will generate its own report which will not be reflected here many people face this problem and uh, we have solved it with various ways so let's begin so i have created a full azure devops playlist in case you face any issues or you want anything to cover just let me know in the comments so earlier we have covered this sinker utility which by which we can achieve this but today i'll discuss an another way of directly calling the apis which is way more simpler than this one but this is also nice i have used this one also in some projects and api is my uh, favorite by which so there also i have covered two part part 1 where i have told how this utility works and in part 2 i have explained that how you can do it in pipeline so now also we'll do the same in this video we'll see that how you can achieve this via api and then how we can increase uh, include those api in our automation suit right so we'll have two parts so let's understand the concept in this video and in the and also we'll do the execution but how we can accommodate that in automation i'll share the code as well so today i'll share the apis and we'll show you how how it is working so our target is to update this test case open in chrome right to pass or fail whatever we want so things important to notice this is organization in azure devops this is a project an organization can have multiple projects and then it will have a plan like this is the master test plan so if i click on any of this you will find that the test plan id is 20 and under that we have suits so these are the various suits suits could be like regression right or a sprint so likewise there could be many suits that could be present and under suits there are test cases so this is how the hierarchy is so at the top we have test plan a test plan can have multiple test suit right test suit 1 2 3 test case id could be common let's say four so this four test case could be present under here could be present under here could be present under here right so then comes the concept of test point because if a single test case is present under multiple suit right let's say regression id number 4 sprint 5 id number 4 right and we can say u at id number 4 so taking this id you cannot update the suit right because system will get confused which one to update so what they did is they brought this concept of test point so for each if you place a test case in a different suit then it will get a different uh, test point right so for this it could be 10 for this it could be 11 for this it could be 12 now you can uniquely identify a test case if the test point id is 10 that means it belongs to regression if it is 11 then it belongs to sprint 5 like likewise 12 then you at also like if you are executing a test case let's say for firefox and for chrome so you can assign configuration in your test plan in azure devops right so then also it assigns a unique test point so that your test case might have passed for firefox but might have failed for chrome it might have passed for linux but might have failed for windows so that is the concept of test point uh, by which you get a unique configuration for a test case so this is the two apis that we are a gonna call one is to get the test point id right you already got the concept of test point id it's a unique reference to a test case right and then we'll update that test point i'll share this api in the comments so that you can i'll share the curl command so you can simply click on import and paste it and you will get this api in your postman right or whatever way you want to run right you will get the details about it so we will pass the organization project plan id suit id and this test case id i have hard coded this but in the next video we'll see that how we can make this dynamic in our automation right so 
test case id 22 i want to know that what is a test point id why i want to know this because if you see my test case here so this test case id 22 is present in suit id 31 the same is present in suit number 33 right and the same is present here even right in 31 so various places in this and in this it is present so uh, so now the suit id is different right but we want to know the test point id of this right so what we will do is we'll call this api and if you see it will return the test point id so i got the test point id as 10 okay and for authorization what you have to do is select basic authentication here and generate a pat token which i have explained in this previous video as well that how you can generate a pat token in part 11 and i can tell you shortly here as well that you have to go here click on this personal access token click on new token and then select this permission read and write and give it a name then a token will get generated which you can put it in your here directly. I have created a variable in postman. You can come here in environment here in global. So I have put this as pat. Okay. And I have made it as secret so that it's not visible. Right. So you can do that way or you can simply paste it in case you are not going to share it publicly. Right. But the best practice is that we should not keep it uh, open. So I got the id here so as soon as i run it i'll get the id here so if there are no appropriate permission and if you don't do proper authentication you might be getting 401 or 403 kind of errors right so make sure basic is selected and pat is selected and yeah so you'll get the test point id 10 so we got the test point id the next thing we have to do is make a patch call because we are going to update results right so the api appears to be almost same right in this case we are not passing test case id if you see here organization project plan id suit id but you don't find any test case id here right because we already got the test point which is unique unique across all the ado items right so here we are passing the id as 10 and results could be like pass fail so this is a number outcome so it could be three to one so there are various things which uh, can be seen here in this page okay so here are the two apis which we are making use of one is get points right 7.1 version and update so we are calling this first get points and update and these are the outcome that can be there right generally we use this failed right failed and passed most probably right we don't use much of them but you can use uh, any of them as per your requirement but let's see that whether it's working or not so i have put the outcome as 3 so now if you see that this is suit id 33 and here this test case is failed and here suit id 31 this test case is active so same test case is present in various suits with different status so we'll update this which is having the id as 31 right our id is also 31 so we get the number as 10 and we'll go here and i'll run this api now okay i have got status 200 okay here it's still active i'll refresh this page so if you see now it has become failed right so i have used three so it has become failed i'll use two now save this and call this again and uh, refresh it so now you see it has become passed and this will not affect this test case because the test point id is different right so hope you got the concept i'll share this api in the comments and curl command right remember this pack token and this patch update and uh, we'll see in the next video how you can use it in automation that let's say you are running 10 test cases then you'll have to call the first api 10 times and the second only once because this can accept an array we'll see that in the uh, next one but hope you got the concept and uh, and tell in comments if you are able to do this right and do subscribe to my channel and if you like the video do comment if you get stuck anywhere i'll try to help thank you for watching